Hey, this is uh, this is shaved lips, man. Right here at Gold's Gym. There's the second one. You guys it. Bam, dude. Right there, dude. Stop talking, they say. <laughs> Because I thought, oh yeah, thanks for the reminder. Because I found out that when I think it, they don't want me to talk because when I talk, they have to do, they have to work. <laughs> they have to manifest my speech like God when he spit, God spake it and it was so. Spake it and it was so, it became so. So now they have to manifest. Well, this is all they could give today. <laughs> right here on the corner of the gym, you know, on my pathway to come in because I'm working on a tree design. And uh, so they always try to put stuff in my path, you know what I mean? Like uh, for my artwork, to make my artwork better for me. So, you know, like the widow, she gave all she could have. It was only like a coin or something, <laughs> you know, to, the, to, to donate to the temple or whatever. And the Pharisees were like... The widow gave all she had. It was only a little bit, but it was all she had. Well, this is all they have. It's a tree. That's what they put. I don't know if that's a mock or... You know what I mean? It's, that's what I have to deal with. Because I that, that's my art project right now that I'm working on. It's a... Uh, has to do with the leaf, and it's a cover for a book. And it's... Uh, about tree... It has to do with trees. I'm trying... Because I'm taking all kinds of pictures of trees in my... In my camp, with my camera everywhere I go, I take pictures of, le of trees and leaves. But look what they gave for me. This is the best one. This is about this. There's been others. I got a, I, the other day. I got a. I picked up a silver uh, leaf patch that was pla silver plastic leaves that were in my path. Fortunately, somebody had urinated on them. <laughs> they were covered with urine, but this they were really pathetic looking too. But I took a picture of them. But this, I'm not going to take a picture of this one. This is like, this was in my, like, sitting right here like this on the sidewalk. Look at that. On my way to the gym. Mm hmm Crapply. That's what they do. They know everything. Stop talking, they say. So we don't have to keep uh, working for you. I don't want them working for me. Stupid computer, man. That's what I have to deal with. More floor placements, I can't even go into it. It's just like, I think they want me to film these videos. They like these videos. I think it's when I'm filming them, it takes me off their grid for a second. Because I'm focusing on what I'm going to say here. And delivering it to this. And I'm not, I'm not like addressing them so much. But that's not true at all either. But it's like, uh, the other thing was I came here, I was like, Oh yeah, on the way here, that, that was, that was, the other, on the way here, I was like, oh, four, that's, I said, I said the number, I said four, I said, oh, shoot, I shouldn't have said four, because I was going to do four sets for my uh, hamstring lower back extensions, instead of five sets, I'm going to do five, because since my back's already started, I said, I'm going to only do four sets, and right at the corner of the street where I said four, I said, oh, shoot, I shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have said that, because I already thought it in my head that I was going to do four sets, I shouldn't have said I'm going to do four sets, as soon as I said, I said, oh, shit, I manifested something, what was it, a fucking, Right on the street, just like that was sitting right there. Right on the street, it was a four squares, four wooden squares of a shelf. A shelf with a painting of a hummingbird on the side. It was green on the interior, like my water bottle too. I bought two water bottles before I came to work today. The workout video I've seen before I came to work, featuring Crystal Levine, working out her back. She also had two water bottles sitting out before she took her pre-workout. And I just, I never take a pre-workout. Short of taking her pre-workout before her workout, and I never take a pre-workout. But I, I happened to get a sample that was green the other day at a uh, vitamin shop. Um, <laughs> and, okay, interesting. And, um, hit the body, hit the floor. <laughs> like, the, like this, wow. So it's just like, 
And then I was saying, oh, Crystal, oh, Levin, like leaving. <laughs> like I'm leaving, because I'm leaving Crystal behind. I stopped doing drugs. So I said in my head, I said, Crystal leaving. Oh, like leave, like I'm drawing a leaf project right now. Green, and there was four green squares, like a shelf, like like a chair or a row that you could put stuff in. It was, it was wooden. It was just up four blocks connected together, like shells, one, two, three, sitting on the ground. Four, one, two, three, four, for me and Crystal Levine. Check out Crystal Levine. She looks like a female version of me. She has the same haircut as me, dude. Magic. Yeah. All set up, dude. Time travel is possible. But it's all a program. It's all pre-programmed. All this is pre-programmed. Or it could be time travel, dude. I know that time could be uh, surpassed. I don't think there's any time here. It's a vortex. It's a vortex like what I created in my head. It's a vortex universe. They make you feel a certain way. They manifest what they can, what's possible. But they make you work for what you want your dream to be. They're not just going to hand your dream over to you. They're going to make you work for it. But they will manifest certain, is what, what they can within, within the statute of the limitations. They will try to manifest and make what, what parts of your dreams they can make true. And what parts of the dream did they make true for me? Well, I had an idea in one of my comic books for a vortex universe. At the center of it was a vortex. Your destination is on the right. Time. There was no time in that vortex. And now here I am in LA. It's a vortex. It's timeless.